Okay, here's an update to my 72 inch reef aquarium which is towards the end of its cycle. Um, as you can see, I started on the 15th of April which is where I took the dead prawns out of the tank once we would basically reached two parts per million of um, ammonia. Uh, that has gone down over the past 26 days. All I'm getting is 0.25 but bearing in mind how appalling it is trying to read the ammonia test kit, test kit. Um, to be honest, I think that's zero. So I'm not going to rely on that. I'm going to rely on the nitrite test, which started at 0.01, going up slowly until it reached 4, and then came down quickly um, to 1.51, 0.5 today. So we're nearly there. A couple more days that'll be done. And the nitrates, nitrates, which actually went up a lot faster than I thought from 5, 10, through the 50s, up above 100, so I stopped testing. Today, they're down to 25 with no water changes. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, and for the phosphate um, from the rocks, I was, I'm testing that quite infrequently because I know it's low. Had it at 0.045, it was still at 0.045, um, and I had the reactor on, and when I checked yesterday, it dropped all the way to 0.008, so I've taken the reactor off. So why the nitrate drop? Over a period of, what, one, two, three, four, five days, it's dropped from 100 plus to 25. I'll show you a secret. Yep, sugar. Carbon dosing has done this. Now I've cycled in or cycling in a very unconventional manner in that when I reached my two parts per million ammonia I put in a bottle, just a small bottle of ATM Colony. Now ATM Colony or Dr Tim's and there's other ones as well um, you can put in the bacteria from the bottle and put fish in which you know I'm sure is perfectly safe but it means no quarantine and I'm going to be quarantining so I wasn't going to go do that so I just had a small bottle just to kick start the cycle and to add variety to the bacteria that naturally populate uh, and then what I did was when I was somewhere around here about halfway through I started carbon dosing to accelerate everything uh, now this is approximately 200 gallons something of that order tank and sumps um, so I put in a tablespoon, which is quite a heavy dose, uh, and I got a, a bloom in the tank, and everything went slightly cloudy the next day, and within 24 hours it had gone. I understand that that's not desirable with fish, but it's not uh, lethal either, but I've got no fish anyway. Um, so after that day, I started putting in a teaspoon, or now a packet, of sugar a day, until about three or four days ago, when I'm putting one in the morning, one in the evening. The sugar feeds uh, the bacteria, which are carbon limited, um, to give you an explosion of bacteria to deal with ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate um, at speed. Now that's all very well, but those don't disappear. They get locked up in the bacteria. So when you're doing this, you need to skim, and you need to skim heavily. Um, also, if you've got fish, um, it can lower the oxygen, so it's even more important. So, I'll show you what the tank looks like now. I had had the lights on for the first week just to get diatoms and um, algae started. Um, and then I turned them back off again to slow it back down. You can see at the back there is algae stroke diatoms, but not that bad. On the front of that rock there, I don't know if you can see that dark blotch around there. Um, oh, that dark blotch, that's algae. And at the, around there as well, you can see some. So I'm switching the lights back on today because I want to encourage it to get growing again because I'm going to be putting in a cleanup crew as soon as my nitrite reaches zero, which hopefully will be within the next say five days or so, so it'll be something of that order. So let me show you down below. So the first sump 
no reactor. That's out for now, and it'll only be put back um, to maintain low phosphates if I require. The marine pure block uh, is looking a little darker. Um, I don't know if I will eventually see bubbles come off it when it has got the bacteria that turn nitrite, nitrates sorry, into nitrogen and bubble off the gas. Um, but the skimmer, that's less than 24 hours skimmet and I have no stock. That is mainly bacteria. So this is what carbon dosing is doing. It locks up, the, the, the sugar fuels the bacteria which um, eat up the nitrites, nitrates and then get skimmed out. So it's really important because otherwise that's all still locked up in the water and will eventually break down and be nitrate still in your tank. So you've got to export it. And of course the additional benefit, that's my stupid dog, the additional benefit of the skimmer is heavy oxygenation, which as I said, if you've got fish you're going to need. As for the fuge, I'll give you an update on that. That's been running with lighting as it will be running, so uh, on the nighttime cycle. Stuff's growing in there. I added the ball of Cheeto um, about three or four days ago and it seems quite happy. Um, so that will be sucking up nitrates as well. So I'll probably end up with a couple of crabs in there, not sure what else, um, and Cheeto. So hopefully that will eventually become my main form of export of the nitrates. But overall, from well over 100 down to about 25 in 24 hours, so sorry, in, in um, four days, um, is quite amazing. So I've got this tank just about done and cycled in 26 days. So I'm very pleased with that. Oh, and with regard to the construction, I've uh, got the acrylic on order as of today, so hopefully that will be coming soon and I'll be able to fit that. Looking forward to finally, finally, getting something in the tank that's gonna move. Anyway, thanks for keeping watching. Uh, any comments, please uh, feel free to make, and questions too.